Can you take an ambulance? SC15. Yeah, SC15, yeah. It's a boy bleeding to death. Right. He's, he's actually bleeding to death. Right, where is he bleeding from? Some tragedies are known by a single name. Damalola, a 10-year-old killed by children. That boy would have been a man of 33 today. I will never forgive those two boys. Since his son's death, hundreds more have died on London streets. Less than two weeks ago, two 16-year-olds were stabbed in southeast London, close to where Richard Taylor lives. It saddens me that uh, such has been brought to my backyard. It's uh, such a disappointment. To me, I don't think they value life. For me, taking a knife and plunging it into someone else because of what? Because of money, because of music, because of drugs. It's something that I believe there is uh, some evil spirit attached to it. Before he was attacked, Damalola skipped and ran from Peckham Library. Tonight, his image is projected onto that building, a preview of a permanent memorial that will be painted there next year. But from this tragedy, there's still hope. A group of people trying to reduce violence and stop another Damalola. A shining light in this movement, Kenya Lam, who's part of the Hope Collective, hosting talks called Hope Hacks around the country. So the Hope Collective is a legacy project for the Damalola Taylor Trust that celebrates the life of Damalola Taylor, but also it is all about changing the conversation, giving young people hope and giving them the platform to offer their solutions to the issues closest to their hearts. And I always say those closest to the problems have the solution. So it's all about amplifying the voices of young people. And because they've got the voices, we just want to give them a platform to be seen and heard. Nivin Rennie is about to become the executive chair of the Hope Collective. We are asking young people across the UK to reimagine a better society, a society where they'll have more hope and aspiration. And we are creating this manifesto from the ideas from the young people. You're not going to change the world overnight. We've been at it 18 years in Scotland and we're still learning a different ways of tackling the issue. But the idea of giving hope and opportunity and aspiration to young people, talking about young people in more positive terms, is certainly the thing that, that the Hope Collective is trying to do. Let's talk about the mural, yeah. Damalola's image on the Peckham Library. For me, it's a lasting, it's an everlasting memorial for Damilola Taylor. Yeah, we have been able to achieve a memorable picture for Damilola, for the whole world to see, the community to admire and remember. It's a remembrance of what happens. It reminds them an everlasting memorial there for him. It pleases my mind. It encourages my heart.